wrestling fans, thanks for clicking today's Dreaded D. Rose report. Hey, uh, WWE's main event's going live, uh, like I was telling you about every week, I guess, for on the network. And uh, it's uh, usually going to air around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but when WWE goes to the East Coast, uh, that's on, when they're on the East Coast, but when they tape on the West Coast, they could be airing as late as 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So just kind of kind of look on their network, uh, you know, to see when it's really going to show. And there's been no talks about a cruiserweight show on the WWE Network, but it was rumored back in 2011 when the network speculated uh, that they was going to have one. Not happening. Not yet, anyway. And former WWE star Kurgan uh, has a role in an upcoming movie, Brock Mansions, which starring the late Paul Walker. And I'm sure Kurgan doesn't uh, star in it because he just don't have that Hollywood face, let me tell you. And for what it's worth, it's said that WWE has current plans, to, uh, that it has current plans for John Cena and Daniel Bryan to be pushed as number one to number two guys in the company after WrestleMania 30. I thought they kind of were anyway. Now that CM Punk's gone, and no word uh, yet if uh, that means Bryan's going to be winning the world heavyweight title, but that could be right up his alley. And people at ESPN are saying that they're not involved in the bidding process for WWE TV rights, but some people at ESPN uh, are interested in WWE coming to their network, but none of the higher-ups are. So that's the ones with the money. And there's there was a Bad News uh, Barrett segment uh, that was scheduled for Monday's Raw when they were up in Chicago, which I'm glad they didn't show it anyway. Uh, where Barrett would have informed the fans that their hometown tar, uh, star uh, CM Punk wasn't there. Well, what happened? Well, they decided not to go with that angle because ben, Vince McMahon doesn't want to bury uh, Punk publicly. Uh, Vince still hopes that Punk will get his head on straight and come back to WWE. Uh, or, I say, spend his money till he needs some more real quick and uh, come back. But anyway, Punk moves a lot of merchandise and WWE wants to have some sort of relationship with him. Because they've invested a lot of time, a lot of money into Punk and his licensing. And if you can make Vince money, he loves you. I don't care who you are. And it's, Punk does say uh, does have a little bit of leverage now because the relationship with Vince is there. But Triple H is getting more and more power. That could change for Punk as far as uh, how easy it is uh, to come back when he wants. Why... Uh, A.J. Lee doesn't say anything. Maybe he's not telling her anything since that's his girlfriend. You would think when she comes in, uh, they'd say, hey, what's he up to? What's going on? And WWE Cameron, Diva Cameron, uh, she's going to be releasing her first single this Friday, March uh, 7th. The song is entitled Bye Bye. E. Cameras will be uh, filming a party for the single's release at the Riviera 31 inside of, uh, the, of the Beverly Hills Hotel. You have to RSVP there. John Cena tweeted about his health update on Wednesday. He says that uh, banged up wheel is starting to come around. And he says he's going to test uh, test it out tomorrow with a bit of squatting rehab. Uh, says we'll see how it goes. And then he posted the uh, following uh, this morning after workout at Hard Knocks South Gym in Tampa. He says, what a morning. Felt great. Thank you, Rob McIntyre, for uh, helping almost uh, get me back to normal which is his opinion totally. And AJ Styles, he's expected to start uh, working for New Japan Pro Wrestling as early as April. No official, uh, uh, nothing officially yet, talks going around, but uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling is expected uh, a deal to be signed soon. And there's some speculations that of all things, some ass is gonna be leaving maybe TNA. TNA knockout Bruce, Brooke Tessmacher, or Brooke Adams, uh, may be done with the company. She's changed her Twitter handle, handle to uh, uh, her Instagram username from Brooke Impact to the Brooke Adams. And right after making a change on Instagram, she posted a message that says, Things change for a reason. Anyway, Brooke was not at TNA's recent UK uh, tour and hasn't wrestled, I guess, since a match, like since November 7th. And uh, her profile is still on their uh, TNA's website, though. But uh, she don't have to wrestle. Just 
come in, show up, walk down there with somebody, get in the ring where we can see you. WWE Hall of Famer uh, Bruno San Martino told 2XZone.com uh, that his new uh, interview that will be a local showing of his uh, documentary coming up on Mother's Day in Pittsburgh, May 11th. Bruno says a lot of people are looking uh, to possibly take in the documentary worldwide, and he also talked about making an upcoming appearance for WWE, and they asked me if I would be willing to come, you know, make uh, an appearance and where some requests come in for that particular show in Chicago, Philadelphia, and Connecticut. With uh, the Hall of Fame and WrestleMania coming up, I'll be spending a lot of time doing some question and answer sessions and autograph sessions. So, he didn't say yes, didn't say no. Former AWA wrestler and WWE enhancement talent Buck Zumoff, well, I'm sure you heard about that, was found guilty of six uh, counts of first degree criminal sexual conduct and six counts of third degree uh, criminal sexual conduct in Minnesota yesterday for molesting his daughter. Now, I'm not sure whether it's his stepdaughter or actual daughter, but Zumoff uh, was sentenced today and reports that are, he tried to run from the courtroom when the verdict was read, but police tackled him. That sucker can't even win in court. I'll check on uh, uh, the sentencing will be later today. I mean, uh, the, the, I don't know how much it'd be, probably quite a bit, I would think. I don't think they suspend too much on those kind of charges. Uh, Santino Morella turns 40 years old today, while David Flair turns 35. Val Venus turns 43. WWE Network still has some issues with Xbox 360. Still haven't resolved the technical uh, support representatives say that uh, they are still working on updating the Xbox 360. Many WWE, WCW, ECW pay-per-views are still missing. And by the way, I'm going to give you a little update on uh, Roku, which I use, you know, to watch the, the network with. And I got my first bill, $9.99 from uh, uh, WWE Monday. Oh well, got it for a month. Uh, anyway, uh, I've had no trouble at all with uh, the buffering, you know, whatever you want to call it, cutting off. I watched, um, believe it or not, I watched WrestleMania 1. It was like two hours, 14 minutes. And I, with Roku, you could scan, you know, through it and you could back it up, you know, fast forward and this and that. And uh, I've never had no problems. Uh, I never tried the rest of the events, but I thought I'd go after the oldest one. And it was pretty good quality, too. Hulk Hogan tweeted the following after his appearance on uh, uh, about next week's Raw. Get it? Next week's Raw. Excited about Raw in Memphis uh, next week? The host of WrestleMania 30. I will slowly reintroduce WWE Universe to the superpowers of Hulkamania Brother. Whatever that means. It's getting to be as strange as the Warriors uh, promos. Hey, below, here's a. Now, if you want to make some notes, go right ahead. Blow is a under uh, the uh, Undertaker's updated schedule through WrestleMania 30, so he's going to be in Memphis on the 10th, March. All these are March. Uh, 17th, the week after, going to be in San Antonio. Uh, the next day on SmackDown, he's going to be in Houston. 24th from Raw in Brooklyn. 31st uh, Raw from Washington D.C. Ring of Honor star ACH, if you know him, Albert Hurl. Uh, Junior will be the next WWE tryout camp with uh, Kevin Steen and Roderick Strong. Uh, as noted also, WWE has uh, signed former CZW champion Drake Younger, uh, and he's going he's gonna to be making, you know, begin working out down at the Performance Center in early May. Younger, uh, he attended uh, WWE tryouts in December and would describe overall of having the least amount of talent of any WWE tryout in recent memories. I say they said he has the least amount of talent. I've seen video, I don't, well anyway, their opinion, but it doesn't really matter because if you have your own style, your own wrestling ability, all this, they're gonna erase it and reform you down there to their, you know, the way WWE wrestles. They just do. Bile Cicero and versus Jack Swagger have been teased for a WrestleMania 30. It could end up being a three-way with Big E for uh, IC title. And if it is, I see Cicero uh, winning that title. All right, let me see. Uh, Chad Wicks 
former WWE wrestler, 36 years old today, and Killer Khan, world-class television champion, 67 years old. And who else? Anybody else? Uh, Two-time TNA world champion, Mr. Anderson, 38 years old. And thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.